Hi friends, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Bruntag Obosis, here to show you about something that just became aware to me like five minutes ago, and I apologize that we're gonna have a shaky video. I'm taking this with my phone, um, but you know, say la vie. So let's take a look at this new feature in Zoom called dual monitors with Zoom. Woof! Now, here's the trick. This does have to be done on a Windows device. So Chromebooks, not gonna work. It's gotta be a Windows, hi bunny. It's gotta be a Windows device. Now, you're probably familiar when you're in a Zoom call, um, like I can share this screen and I can um, uh, put the, the people over here, but check this out. When I do this with a Zoom call, it's a little complicated right now because it's me on both. But when I, oh, I need to verify again. Give me just one second. There we go. But when I join, mm -hmm, here I come as a student from another device, slowly, there we go. And when I admit it, oh, watch this, ready? Whoa! Magically, my student's over here and I'm over here. And that still might be a little weird, but what's cool is when I say share screen, just like I normally would, and if I share my screen, now my camera's over here and my screen that I'm sharing is over here. I could certainly have it the other way. And you can see on the student side, faces are up there, materials there, right? So it, it splits it and it lets us get this really big camera view of our people who are on the call. This is so amazing. So how do I make this work? Let's take a look. So interestingly enough, it's not done in the Zoom call itself. It's not even done in the Zoom like website settings. It's not here you have to have the Zoom client installed, which probably most of you do on your computers. Um, and I think it does have to be an updated version, but uh, you need, it, it's here, it's in this little Zoom. So you may have to go down and click the start button or whatever it's called now. Go down to Zoom and say Zoom right? That'll open this up. You may need to sign in. I got my little picture up here saying I'm in a call right now. You click the settings icon right there. And then under the general tab will be use dual monitors. And when you turn that on, it will automatically check this one as well to enter full screen automatically when starting or joining a meeting. But that's where you find it. Again, one more time in the Zoom client, not on a Chromebook, uh, and I'm going to find out if a Mac does this later. Click on settings and then under the general tab, use dual monitors. Woof. So there you have it, friends. Dual screens within Zoom on a Windows device. Now, big shout out to Griffin Stevenson for finding this. Uh, he's one of our Rick techs that's located at ME. So Griff, Man, my hat's off to you. That was a huge find. So thank you very much. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And uh, with that, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.